so I'm doing an updated foundation routine and I'm doing this because um, I'm actually going to get another video uploaded before this one um, because I still don't have the cord for this whenever I'm right in this moment when I'm recording this I don't have my cable to it, hook it up to the computer to download it so this is going to come up after another tutorial um, but instead of doing a foundation routine and a eye makeup look in one video, I'm going to split them up because I have had a few things that have changed in my foundation routine. Um, and I want to touch up on a few things. Um, so I'm going to do my foundation now. And then um, with my older camera, which you probably have already seen, um, I'm going to do let me find it, um, a neutral look with... Um, my Beauty Factory, ooh, I'm picky. My Beauty Factory palette, the 120 um, neutral palette. Um, I haven't opened it up yet, so they're all still, um, it's all still wrapped up. But you have a nice, huge, huge neutral palette. Hope you can see that. I'm going to do a neutral look with this palette um, coming up. So before I do that. Um, Look, keep a lookout for this video. Before I do that, I'm going to um um so I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do my foundation. On um I was just gonna do wipe off my eyes and do that, but I figured why not do a whole new video. Um so I'm just gonna get right into it because I've already talked for like a minute and I have a lot that I'm doing. Um and I want to touch up on three four things. First, my normal foundation routine. Secondly, I have a pimple here that, I know it's gross, but I was messing with it because it, I can't stand having them on my face. It bothers me. Having, like, your face is supposed to be smooth. When I have a bump, it's like a OCD. I have to, like, mess with it. So these, this one and these down here are kind of freshly picked at, which is not, I know, nice. It's, it's gross. If you guys can go ooh if you want. But um, I'm going to show you what I do to help with the redness and then third thing I'm going to show you how to help with the um, actual blemish and the fourth thing is that I have been sick I've been pretty sick I'm getting over it now I still have a stuffy nose and a cough but it's it's pretty much gone um, but right in here it got really sore and red from the tissues because I did um, the lotion ones are nice but I got the Vicks ones um, because I was so congested, um, and they're they're nice because they have Vicks in them and it really clears your head up. But it's not soft like the lotion ones. So, and here it got really red. So, to start, I'm gonna start with my under eye eye bags, which I just got off work, so I definitely have them. So my uh, Garnier ah! Clean Skin Renew uh, Anti Dark Circle, and you just put this on. I just go back and forth. It's it's enough. Um, sorry. As I do my makeup, I put it back in my container so it's organized. So I'm just going to put that on the bottom. This helps um, prevent them and uh, cover them with a light tint. Okay. Next. What do I do next? Okay. Um, next what I'm going to do is take... Where are you? My uh, Clearasil Ultra Rapid Action Treatment Gel, 4-Hour Treatment Gel. Now, this helps with the redness. So, as your makeup is wearing throughout the day, this will help um, fight the redness from your blemishes. Now, if you have fresh ones like I do, like where you freshly picked at them, because I know not everyone's innocent little angels, people pick at them. Um, this is kind of, this is going to sting. It's not really a nice light one, but um, it really... Chemicals really do a good job. Okay, so I'm going to put that on. That's uh, the first thing out of the four I told you. This is going to help pretty much bring down the blemishes, swelling, and the redness. So that's thing one I said. Second thing I'm going to treat, this is Acne and Marks Spot Lotion. So it's going to help a, uh, a little bit more. It says it helps clear pimples fast and reduce the appearance of marks. And what that is, is if you have like a really bad acne, like, um, I know people that have like the really bad acne, 
if you keep on popping it or if you just have bad skin because of the acne, you can get those like little uh, marks on your face, those little dots everywhere, and this is going to help prevent that, especially if you're someone like me that can't stand bumps on your face and you have to pick at them. Um, this is supposed to help clear that, so I'm going to put it on these ones right here. This one is going away and almost gone, but I put it on there just in case. I have them right there, and I have this one here. And if you notice, I put one drop on my finger because we just want a um, a light coat of this. You don't want to put a, a lot on because a it's just you don't need a lot, and b um, you can be putting makeup on, so you don't want your makeup to look too heavy because you have a lot of other stuff um, underneath of it. Next, I'm using Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer with SPF 40. I mean SPF 30. And this is a light tint. And this is just a moisturizer. I'm going to put this. It's not like to squirt out. Good. The one thing I don't like is if, I don't know if you can see. It gets like trapped along the outside of that little hole. It's, I guess you're supposed to do it upside down. I don't know. I don't like that about this. But anyways, I'm just going to put a little bit of this stuff on the sides here. It's tinted, so if you just needed to wear it, you could. Um, but it's mainly just to help the dryness that was right there. So those are the three main things I talked about. Now the rest is going to be the fourth one, fourth one, which is just going to be my makeup routine. Okay, so I got all that done. Now I'm going to take um, my L'Oreal Magic uh, Smooth Souffle I told you guys about. I have a little one I put when I was traveling for a week. So I'm just trying to use this one up. Oops, I'm put that in there. Yeah, so I just have to, I mean, I've been home for a week, and I've used this every day, and I use this every day when I was traveling, pretty much, so, and that's how much I still have left. See? I just, like, dab it, and this stuff's amazing. Yeah, if I look behind you guys, it's where the mirror is. He's just put a light coat of this on, and this really helps... Brighten the dark spots and really mostly get rid of the redness. I kind of use it like a concealer, but right now my skin is in kind of a a poor condition, so I um need to take extra steps. Put a bunch on this monstrosity. This one is like big painful ones okay and then um, I also kind of like using this as a foundation because I put it underneath my eyes and on top and this is the only foundation type of product I put on top of my eyes before the primer because as my other video showed I put foundation on my eyes as well but this kind of clears that darker tone I mean tone to my eyes when your eyelids are kind of that red or blue, veiny um, tone to it, this helps it. Oh, it's right down. Okay, and then I'm probably going to add one more underneath for the eyes because I have pretty dark eyes after work. Circles, I mean. Yeah, my actual eyes get dark. No, I'm just kidding. Um, sorry if I'm talking fast. I do just want to make this a fast video for you. And I'm off of work from 10 at night to 7 in the morning, so uh, this is the point in my day when I'm pretty much pretty crazy. Sorry. Anyways, I'm taking my CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer. There you go. Fresh Complexion. I'm going to go over all the spots that I all the red spots that I have. So here, here, here. Go around the nose that little dot guy there. I try to use as much of the water as I can so I don't dip it in too many times. Put that up there. I'm gonna have to. And then... There. So now I have a very beautiful face, as you can see. <laughs> Not really. Um, I'm gonna slowly bring it around. And when you put 
put this in. If you notice, I'm going up to the eyelid as close as I can. You really want to make sure you don't leave any of this, like, cover from foundation, like, a gap between... Like, some people will leave it, like, right under the eyelashes will be a different color because they didn't put the foundation all the way up to the eye or the concealer. You want to make sure you do that. So I look up and press in. I'm not pressing in hard. Your eye is going to move a lot, but you just want to press in and get really close to the lash line. As close, if not, add the lash line as close as you possibly can. Now with this one up here, it's really big, so you don't want to really wipe it as much as, I, as you did with the others. Around it's okay, but the actual top of it, you just want to pat it on there. Now this isn't going to be 100%, but you can do your best. Now lastly, I've been at, not lastly, I'm sorry. Um, I have two more things for the foundation, then I'm going to do my blush, and then I'll be done. Um, but my newest thing that I actually really like, it seems to have a nice, thick, good coverage like for a heavy coverage because I need a heavy coverage more than the light coverage for a good heavy coverage this is hard candies just face it and it's kind of confusing but featherweight formula one step foundation usually one step foundation means it's heavy coverage you can just put one layer on it's one step you're covered you're good but then it says featherweight and usually featherweight means sheer and light so I really like this because it is like a one step uh, foundation but once it dries, you can't feel the foundation on your face. So I kind of get why they say feather light as well. But so far, it's been a pretty good foundation. And I'm just going to put some on my hand again over top of this nastiness. Right here. And... Oh, I ran out. A little bit up top. Boop. And keep on getting these bags. And I know this is a really long routine, but um, when my skin is in better condition, the routine gets, I use less and less product. But considering my condition is horrendous, or the condition of my skin right now is pretty bad, um, I have to do a lot. And really with this, the type of blemish it is, you can't cover it up 100%, but you can make it a lot less more noticeable, especially when you have a hairstyle like this that you can just kind of like, kind of like, whoop, it's in, bam. Okay, anyways. As best as I can get that. Okay, so, it's how big these are. You're not going to ever get it perfect without, unless you put a, a whole big sibling brush thing into your whole face, which I don't like doing that because that's way too much makeup. If you're a guru out there, I'm not trying to offend you if you like doing that, but that's way too much foundation. It's really not good for your skin. Even if you wash it a lot, you know, it's not good because you go from a dirty face to a clean face after you cleanse it. And then you go to bed, which you've been sleeping on for a week, which is dirty with dead skin. And, you know, if you have animals, they crawl around on it. And, you know, your pillow is not 100% clean. So you just put your clean skin back on a pillow. It's really good to just clean your face off. I use cleaning wipes that have moisturizing in it after, so I don't have to really wash my face. And I use that, and I really scrub this stuff off, and it's good. But, I mean, I, I do that for the day, you know. Um, but... Sorry, I just, it's, I can't do that whole, and it feels like I'm wearing a mask when I do foundation over the whole face. That's just a little much for me. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get because, ooh, it's not going to stay in place, is it? Um, yeah, it's as good as that's going to get. The last thing, I'm going to take this really, like, travel size, small, whoop, see, it's tiny, kabuki brush. And my um, Physician Formula um, foundation that I've used in um, all my videos. I just kind of pat this in in a circle so I get it. Whoops. Yeah, so I just get like powder all over it. And just start powdering my face. Um... This brush is really soft and a really good kabuki brush, and it spreads it nice and evenly. And I just, I really like this. 
Kabuki brush. This is by Eco Tools. You can get this at Walmart. I've seen them at uh, Walgreens. Target has them. And I pretty much just do this step with the foundation, powder foundation, to set everything and make everything one color. So that's it. Everything's set in place. <coughs> okay, and uh, sorry, I've been itching my nose. You didn't see that. It was invisible. Um, <laughs> next, I've been using my um, Miss Taylor retractable kabuki brush. Let me see if I can get like the light not to shine. The Miss Taylor flat top kabuki. I've been using it for the blush lately, and I really like it. Can't tell it's a pink. I need to clean it, but it has a pink tone to it. Which I like this because if you wash it and then you put it like this and then flat down, like on the surface, all the water is going to run to the surface. And you need to have a surface that can soak up the water. And then you'll just have it like on the tip. And then all you have to do is move it to a dry surface and the tip will dry. And, you know, easy cleaning. I think all brushes, brushes, even if it's not the whole brush, if it's just the top, should have this so that this, the shape stays, you know. Anyways, I'm going to take my Physician Formula uh, Happy Booster Blush that I've talked about in my videos before in the color Natural. And I'm just going to take the Kabuki and run it in there. And it's really dense, so I run it in there a good minute. And then put it on my face. And you see, it puts it on really, like, for as much as I rubbed it on, it put it on, like, a really nice color. And it's really soft. Sigma holds true to all the hype and name I've heard of. Well, just do the T-zone. Quick sweep. Now, you're going to want to put blush up here so it matches like the rest of your face. But just be careful you don't go across the spot that you did too, too much. Even if you go under it a little bit, it's fine. And then I'm going to do one last thing. That's the highlight. And as I told you before, I use brush. And my, my face has a pink tint. So I like using a, um, my Hard Candy Glow. And it's the pink one. To give it that little pinky glow since I have blush on. And I just take that little dab and try to make two small lines right here. Just blend that in with my finger. Then just take another little dab, <coughs> another little dab, and just get it on my nose, my lip, and my chin. Again, be careful with the chin because you don't want to put some on your spots and then like make your pimples glow because then people can see it more. Make sure it's all blended. And there you have it. That's my foundation routine. Um, it, typically when bumps get that big, you just really, there's no covering it up. Um, but that's the best that I can do. And I hope you enjoy uh, my foundation. Now just keep a lookout. Um, or not keep a lookout, but hopefully you have already watched um, my natural look. I think it's number five now. Natural look number five for my Beauty Factory palette. I just got to figure out which ones I'm going to do. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry it took so long, but I wanted to make sure I was detailed and, um, covered everything. Um, my contest ends tomorrow, and, um, if I don't announce the winner tomorrow, I will, uh, well, I'm going to let it run until, like, tomorrow night, so, um, on the 1st of June, um, is when it's officially ended. Uh, you can't enter after the 1st of June, um, but I'll be on vacation then, so I get back on the second so maybe that night um i'll send um announce the winner i'll wait um i'll wait a day for the winner to respond back to me um with their address and everything and then i'll send their address to sigma and they can send you the flat top kabuki the the miss taylor one that i showed you um so you look out for that uh check my blog after i get back from this other 
trip and I'm not sick because this is like day eight or nine and I'm sick. But um, when I'm not sick, I'm going to do a uh, complete collection. Uh, it's going to be like eyeshadows one day with the palettes and everything and just do a whole upload of pictures. Um, I might do, um, instead of doing swatches like pictures, I might do like my arms filled with swatches and do like a video and um, post that video on my blog. So I'll keep all the information on my blog. So if you join now, so when I do upload it, you know about it as soon as possible. And um, I'm a Sigma affiliate, so if you guys ever want to buy brushes or you really like the Kabuki brush I used in this video, um, or, and I haven't used this yet, which I kind of need to, but like I said, I've been sick as a dog. Um, oh, crap. I spilled something. It's fine. Um... But I still have yet to try, but I'm going to try the Shape and Dry from Sigma. Oops, sit down. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes. You can also get that through my affiliate link. And basically, the more stuff you buy through m using my affiliate link, the more basically points I get, the more points I get, the better prizes I get to give away for you guys. So you can check that out. And um, I think that's about it. Um, I will get going so I can do the other video, and I hope you all like this. Sorry it's long, but, yeah. Um, I guess I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a wonderful, uh, if you, I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day, and, uh, have a run, uh, be, blah, 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 blah. have a wonderful beginning of summer, because I know most people are out of school now, so yeah. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Much love, and bye.